Hi there, and welcome to the second half hour of Daytime Blue Ridge. I'm Natalie Fonz. And I'm Brittany Flowers. And thank you so much for hanging around with us. We have another great half hour ahead. We're going to talk to AT&T about the latest gadget to help you get active, stay active, and reach those fitness goals. Find out how you can win this prize coming up. That's right. Plus, we have some members of the Roanoke Fire EMS Department to talk about the upcoming 9-11 Memorial Stair Climb happening at the Wells Fargo Building in downtown Roanoke this weekend. And Keith is back from R.T. Smith's Deli with more on how this restaurant is supporting the upcoming Memorial Stair Climb, plus some delicious sandwich recipes. He's hiding a lot of the food, from what I understand. I went through the kitchen, and I said, where are the sandwiches? Where's the food? He's like, oh. He's like, it's coming. Oh, okay. It's coming. All right, well, I'm excited about that. Um, so we're just getting back into the swing of things from the holiday weekend. So like many of you, we're catching up on the big news. First up, the famous PSL has returned to Starbucks. There was some confusion with the launch of the drinks. Certain stores started selling them September 1st. Others started making them a couple days ago. Um, and other locations claim the drink wasn't out until yesterday. Re regardless, I think you're all safe to go get one today. Our producer's husband has already ordered one at the Bridges Starbucks and Tower Starbucks. So uh, be assured they are available there. The PSL is big business for Starbucks. 200 million pumpkin spice lattes have been sold in just 10 years of existence. I have never had one. Have you ever had one? PSL. Okay, I, I, have, to admit, latte. I, oh. I have to admit that I was like, what is a PSL? Oh. Pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice latte. latte. Have you ever had I got one? it. Oh, yeah. Pumpkin spice is, I mean, that's huge with okay. everything. Okay. Um, I've never had one. Yeah, Starbucks has the pumpkin spice, and then I think Duncan has a they do. pumpkin a they coffee donuts. and donuts right. and all sorts of stuff. I love it all. I love it. Never right. get tired of it. Yeah. All right, here's something for you. Britain's royal family will soon be a bit bigger. We love this. The Duchess of Cambridge and her husband, Prince William, announced Monday that they are expecting their third child. The baby will join four-year-old Prince George, two-year-old Princess Charlotte. I don't know how they do it. Done you what? Four-year-old oh and two-year-old? No way. The announcement comes a bit early. She's not quite 12 weeks along, but she was forced to cancel an appearance because, once again, she's suffering from hypermesis gravidarum, also known as HG. Uh, it's a severe morning sickness that includes severe nausea, fainting, dehydration, and weight loss. That's how she stays so thin, I guess. Oh, gosh. Um, she suffered this condition with both of her previous pregnancies. That's well, so surprising. So. Like, I couldn't imagine uh, having two kids... You know, mm -hmm. that's good. Right. You're not outnumbered. No. You get one kid, I get the other Divide kid. Divide and conquer. Deal. Yes. Having a third kid throws a wrench in the system. <laughs> Everything off. You're outnumbered. Mm -hmm. There'd be more of one gender than the other. Mm -hmm. It's a little scary. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, I don't know. They're pretty... And, uh, you know, for her to have the, like, really bad morning sickness, yeah. and that she's had it now for all three pregnancies, mm -hmm. like, man, I would feel like you wouldn't want... To, to have another again, one, right? Because exactly. you're like, well, I don't have to go, go through, through that. that. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't want to have a third kid anyway. But you know what? God makes you forget. You forget right. all the bad stuff. You right. just remember of like the cute little. And have moments. a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like two's not not good. Three's worse. Yeah. But two is not fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wouldn't want to throw a new baby in while having. Although she is a duchess, so she she's has got plenty of help. <laughs> yeah. She, you know what? Never mind. They're gonna be fine. I'm not even worried about them. Um, this is really cool. So children of the '90s, listen up. We have a new reason to turn into MTV. That's right, the network that used to play m music videos. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Our producer ran across a preview for a new reality show that we are going to love. In a world where technology is taken over, only one competition show asks, can you pop it in the boombox? How we open this? Uh, 90s? Hello! Could you take yourself out of 2017? I don't think I can live without social media. And survive in the jiggiest decade ever. Fax machine? If you can't hack it, we'll send you home. What in the world? Lance Bass and Christina Milian host 90s House. New series premieres Tuesday, September 26th on MTV. Okay, what do you think? That's going to be entertaining. Yes. I love that. Okay, so no social media. No social media. No, no phones, cell phones. None of this. Internet is dial-up. As soon as I heard that sound, I was like, whoa, that's taking me back. Right. Back in yes. the day. Mm -hmm. um, fax machines? Fax machines. Does anybody use fax machines anymore? I hate Businesses. the fax machines. Businesses, I hate them. too. I hate them. I don't know why. I'm like, let me scan it and email it to you. It's right. easier. Exactly. I know. I'm going to be interesting. In. All right.